Right, back on folks. It's getting a bit breezy now. There's a group of about six or seven big horses over there. I'm hoping they can't get me as I walk across here. They suddenly start to all gallop towards me. I would be scared because I've been knocked out by horses once. Only on a temporary basis. But it was quite a shock. They were only after the hay. They didn't hurt me really. They just pushed me out of the way. But they, the way they did it, it's, uh, a big backside came round and sort of knocked me, shook my brain. And um, I just got to remember what you do here. There's a you have, you have to climb through a fence, uh, climb down over a stream and everything. There's the the copse of uh, pretty, and behind the the copse is um, the church. <laughs> But it's just started to get a bit nippy. So when I get down, I did meet a lovely lady with a dog a minute ago. She was very friendly. Sort of person I probably could have walked with. Um, you don't know though, do you? And then... Um, but I wanted to come this way, because this is the way I like coming. But I did spot the horses. And I've seen them in here before, not for a long, long time, like galloping about. So I thought, oh, if they start moving, I'll have to go back. But from now, I'm at the point of no return. If you know what I mean. There's no way I would get back and beat the horse. So we got to keep going. Now, what I do remember about some of this grass down here, it's more like um, bog grass, marsh, marsh grass. But there is a way you can go. There's a sign on a post there. You can walk straight across to a gate over there and come out on that lane. You know, there is, there is a way if you want to go cross country. I've never done it. I've never actually walked right across there to wherever. I can't see the gate, but there's a post. This is the back way in that I'm doing now, which I learnt a long time ago. Probably one of the first things I did was explore this wood and um, yeah so the horses have stayed put up there I'm not gonna stop I'll just keep going because some um, they do come down here they can get in here and they probably come down for a drink look at that old tree yeah I think you can follow a track We'll probably see that woman in a minute. You can follow a track and it takes you down to the, the, the path. It's just beyond the tree level back there. Just taking a picture of that tree. Um, but uh, what I normally do is just walk straight down through here. Not a lot of cows about, and have quite a few empty farms as well. I've wandered all in like that copse before. It's a nice, rich looking copse. But I normally just go straight down, but it can be boggy. Now, if they've had a lot of rain, we might find we're in a swamp in a minute. See? We could find we're in a swamp. But I'm following where other people have walked. You can see the grass is pushed over. It's like a little track someone else has done. <coughs> that woman's probably doing the road. <coughs> the grass is getting in the back of my throat here. Yeah, so that was alright. We missed the horses. Um, I just keep going down so I'll get somewhere. So we'll just keep going this way. Oh, look, there's a type of path there which I obviously didn't see that someone's made. Look, <laughs> locals would know this, wouldn't they? You know, look, there's a path. I just plowed straight in. I just feel so. I just feel so peaceful when I'm out. My Maggie's up in heaven. 
my beautiful dog. I feel really sad though because I got to go back knowing she ain't there anymore. It hasn't really hit me yet. Because um, it's, it, it will when the days go by and there's no Maggie anymore. I, I feel sad now and I, whenever I start thinking about Maggie, I feel really, really upset, actually. Um, but I'm still enjoying this beauty, Maggie, and I know that as a dog you have loved this as well. I miss her. I just miss her. I feel, I've got butterflies in my stomach. You know? Have you? Yeah. I've got butterflies. Through grief. Grief. It's through grief. Now we've just got to find the way in. Now the locals know the way in. You get over a bit of fence. I'll find it in a minute, don't worry. I don't know whereabouts. I haven't done it, like I said, I probably haven't done this for five years. And have they electrified the fence now? So they do, they are trying to stop people doing it. It does look a bit electric, doesn't it? That's it, yeah. I'm just trying to find whereabouts I got over. She could have warned me that they put electric fence up here. You know what I mean? Um, I can't remember where I got in. It looks a bit dodgy, Shell. It's electric fence, isn't it? And you haven't got a sticker or nothing. I don't know where I got in. No, I don't think you're going to be able to do it, girl. Where you used to get in, they've stopped people doing it, haven't they? Oh, there's me so close. I'm just trying to think where I used to get in. I wonder if it is electric. Oh, you'll have to leave it, show. I can't risk being electrocuted. So what we do, we just carry on walking up here. Yeah, so I used to cross. I'm just wondering if I can get under there. I'd get ever so wet though, won't you? No, just keep going up. Don't worry about it. There's an electric fence. That woman could have said you won't be able to get across there anymore. They spoil everything, don't they? Everything's electric lately. Let's have a look here. Oh. I don't know if there's a river there, see? Don't know. It's alright, it's all part of the learning curve. I'm going to turn off. Oh, look at that little dunnock. A little tiny, tiny bird. No, I can't go down through there, see? That's probably a river. 
I should have gone. Ow! Ow! There. The horse fight got me. Oh! Uh, then we're going to get out. There's a no way in. Where, where's it start? I'm going along here until I find it. Where it starts. But there again, I don't know. Oh God, I've wasted my time, haven't I? Yeah, you have, go. Get off! Like a tackle bad. That woman could have said, "Don't go down through the field." They put electric fence up. Might be a way through yet. So I'm just going to go right round. I don't mind. I'm not bothered. There's a gate there. I can get out in a minute. Let's see if there's a way in that the locals will know. Oh dear. This looks like it. Right, take the bag off. Right, just turn it off a minute, folks. On the Kodak, the last video of the day, the area that I normally crossed has been electrofenced, so I couldn't risk it, but I found a place where I see where locals do it. I've seen where the locals do it now. They've tied a bit of barbed wire together, including the electric bit. Enough for someone to crawl under, which is what I've done. So, rather than go all the way back up, or over to a gate I found the entrance point and a lane that would have led me to the, the, the and a little track that would have led me to the lane as well so obviously anyone living down that lane comes up comes this way when they want to go to the pub so I said locals know the stuff and they've hidden the tracks so, like you're saying, I haven't done this for a while. So basically, like quite a few, say five years, things do change, even if it's only something subtle. So we're in this little copse over at Pretty. Load of dogs barking. I had to crawl under a fence. I've had to climb over fences climb over styles um, it's been a great walk though I feel I've had a good stretch today put it that way but not a, but a gentle pace just really pottering for about how many hours seven hours just pottering now I'm going up I should be getting near the church and get some views on this side. Lovely avenue of, I think they're beech trees, that guard this lovely little copse. Down there you've got the swallows, you've got the pothole entrances down there, and I used to be able to go down and cross the stream, but they seem to have blocked it. I don't know if I got stung on my bum. Actually, I had to sort of call a nature got me. Now we're going across the fields. 
I would have ended up on that road eventually that I went down this morning, but I'd prefer to do this. Now looking over all there, there's not a cow in sight. I'm not quite sure if that is, people aren't doing cows anymore, but basically not a cow in sight. And I could have, I could have actually come a route I do take across the fields from where I was right over there. I could have actually done that. But it doesn't matter, I didn't do it. And I'm glad I've done this way. At least I now know that there's restrictions on getting across the stream. You've got to go further up. Or you just well carry on down and get on the, on the little road. Okay? Rather than crawling about on the floor. Here's where the festival people are gathering. Are they? Yeah. In tents. Camper vans. This is a pretty festival it's called now. It used to be pretty fair. And it's on all weekend. So I don't know if these are the sort of people that are preparing the, the event. Or they're just getting here early. I don't know. Another tour of Portaloo. Right, stop here. I'm not going to put my jumper back on now. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm feeling a bit nippy now. Feeling a bit nippy. Oh, I'm a bit nippy now. to beat you then oh yeah no I cut across the field there was a, there was a gap in the hedge which I usually oh yeah but the thing is they put an electric fence up there now no no so I managed it you can get all the way around anyway yeah no I know. I've always used to go down by the pothole entrance and then yeah. cross the stream. Yeah. That used to be the route we a lot of us took. Yeah. Then they put electric fence. So I wasn't going to risk it, but I noticed someone had tied the fence together. Right. So you could yeah. crawl under. So I just crawled under it. So. Yeah. No, I, I went all the way along East Ward and, and down Nine Barracks, up by the waterworks. Yeah. But they were moaning yesterday that they blocked the footpath, but they haven't. The no. footpath is along the waterworks track. Yeah. And then uh, this end of it, you can either go through the nettles around the end of the waterworks fence, or you can go into the horse fields and then cut right and go across the stone. Yeah, I mean, from also, because there's no cow, I, won't, I don't normally go if there's lots of cows and yeah. close. You can go across the fields when there's no cows, can't yeah. you? Oh, I know all the routes, yeah. Only due to the kindness of the farmers. But they don't what, mind if it's just one old woman you know going Robin by. Just died. Sorry? Robin May. Oh, how's he? He died yesterday. Oh, wow. Well, my, well, my daughter's dog died yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? How old was he now? 86. Oh, not bad. So we're ringing the metal at 6 o'clock. <laughs> you know what? Ringing the bell? Well, we're telling the tenor. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. Will no, the dog I'll just take, sit there? No, I'll take the dog home. I only live down the bottom, so I'll take the dog home and come back up. Oh, yeah. Well, Pam wanted to go that up today, so he said we'd do this. Did you get a lot of people at the, at the well, but it used to be called the, the fair, didn't it? Not the festival years ago. It used to be the sheep fair in August. Yeah. That's gone. So it's just the folk fair. Of course, they closed one of the pubs, the good pub, I always thought. Yeah. <laughs> the one on the green. 
that was a good one. The yeah, what's the, what's the other two? What, what the, the Queen Vic. I mean, I don't really drink anymore. Where's the Queen Vic again? If is that the main one? Oh, there's two main ones. Oh, the yeah. Queen Vic is, if you go across the grid, you know, yeah. and then round and take the first right, which is Polton Drive. Oh, I that's know, yeah. The Queen Vic, if you keep going on the main road to the crossroads, that's yeah. the Hunters. Oh, right, so yeah. Open. I don't know, there's some that have been closed. Yeah, it's only new it. Yeah, so these people that are arriving now, are they helpers or are they just sort of get them? They're just getting in early. Oh, right. Oh, I've got to take a picture. I'll let you go. So I'm going to take some. I'm, I'm, well, you're going to again. Way, you? I just met a lovely lady. She lives in the little cottage down there. She's going to ring the bell in a minute with a. Um, she's, it's um, a sad bell, the toll bell it's called, because someone in, very important in the village who owns all these fields died yesterday. And of course, they got the pretty fair festival getting all ready, the tents are going up, the marquees. And um, she's just taken her dog home. I walked with her for a little while, and uh, she's going to toll the bell on the church at six o'clock for the person, very important person in the village who've passed away. Um, anyway, I've had a great walk and um, I'm just going to turn off and take some pictures. Wait a minute.